Uh, we're doing this Ford truck, F-150. From what I know, um, it had some coils and stuff put on it. It still has a misfire. And I, my suspicions are we had a coil failure that took out an engine computer driver. That's what I think about this truck going into it. Let's find out. Yeah, I can't help you. What are you talking about? I can't help you. It's, it's manual. I'm not crawling through. Come on. Nope. I'm not crawling through. I can't even see you. I can kind of see you. All I'm doing is plugging in the freaking DLC. Turn the key on, ready? Keys on me. Let's start it, listen to it. Oh, bad miss. Bad miss, bad miss. That's what we want. Constant misfire is what we want. Oh, old school. What year is this thing? 99, coil pack here. Here, that's one, and that's the other one right here. Coil pack. Right here. Coil pack. What I am interested in is coil control. So let's, do we want to, we can do this one low tech. Okay. Start with the test light. Well, you've said that many times, and then we end up breaking out a scope. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna break out the oscilloscope. I already have it all set up, but we can also stay low tech. Like, I, I, I'm okay with that too. Let's, let's start low tech. Well, we should probably at least look at codes first. Cylinder six. Okay. So, cylinder six is over here. Let's do, let's see if we got spark on cylinder six. These ones make me nervous because they got these little locks. Gotta keep my test light closer than my finger so I don't get bit. No, I'm not gonna die if I do. Ooh, lots of spark. No RPM change though. Shorten it out, letting it go to the cylinder, shorten it out, going to the cylinder. No RPM change whatsoever. So um, I was worried about a computer driver issue and uh, yeah, that's no longer the case. I have spark on cylinder six, which is that side. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, second one over on that side. Uh, I'm interested uh, to see if there's any visual. Wait, I hear something. I can hear it arcing. I'm gonna get my mic close. Yeah, what I'm hearing is, is a spark issue. I hear an audible cracking. Now this is, this is one where I could definitely get bit. So I'm gonna shut this off. Cause my, I'm gonna put my hands around where this number six is. Second one in on this side, which is buried. I heard it arcing. I'm just gonna leave that there for a second, start it up. I know you can hear it. There's not gonna be anything you're gonna see. I still hear that. I still hear the arcing sound scaring me. I'm gonna get it. It could be a lifter tick that I was hearing, maybe not spark. I'm worried about the injector too on this cylinder. Let's take a look and you know, I never did a clear flood crank either. I'm getting ahead of myself with this low tech shit. Pedal to the floor. Sounds good. Compression sounds good. And since we're already set up from our last car, let's do this next. Very low tech. Uh, I, I started low tech. I have spark. Um, no contribution on cylinder six. So now we're talking spark fuel compression and I already have my lab scope here and we did a ignition misfire on an avalanche and now we're doing this one. Everything's all set up, ready to go. So this is just next easiest step. Whether, you know, we, we exhausted the low tech methods that I feel like using. Some of you are like, well, now I need a, you know, lab scope to do the rest of it. Yeah. So get one. Can't always be low tech. I hear arcing, and it may not be the number six. Going over here, closest to the coil is your best signal acquisition when you're doing secondary ignition. 
This is a way spark. Oh yeah, look at that. That's classic bad spark plug right there. That's pretty sweet. This is a, um, a system two that multi-strike discharges the coils at idle speed. So you're seeing two and uh, all that, that major, major hash that you're looking at in that, in that waveform is, is nine times out of 10 when I see that is bad spark plug all day long, all day. So I'm gonna make Pete do that. I'm, I'm not touching that. Like what we could do is swap plugs to different cylinders and watch it move. I mean, maybe we do just from a standpoint of let's get out of here as opposed to waiting for Pete to get me stuff. Um, I, I do hear arcing too that I don't like. Absolutely, that is secondary arcing. I hear it. That's like a different cylinder though. Just put your hands in there and move them around. Yo, it'll get me. That right there, that's number six. That's yeah. a bad spark plug. Okay. And I hear arcing on this side too, but I don't think it's from that cylinder. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do, um, I'd like to move that plug to a different cylinder to prove it for everyone. So I want to move the number six to, I'll probably move it to, you know, whatever's e the next easiest one to get to. Okay. And then I, I want to investigate this secondary arcing that I hear. So I need like spark plug stuff, straight screwdriver, I guess. We'll unplug the mass airflow so I can run it with the math unplugged. Um, moving this to the next coil. This is a coil pack. There's two coils inside of this. So this is gonna be cylinders three and five now on the same coil. Okay. Cylinder five. Oh no, that one looks shitty too. I believe this is my guy that's arcing. Let's see if we can match the arc to the waveform. Listen to this. There it is. I heard the arc. What cylinder was that? So it's the first one up here and it did sound like that too. Let's see if we can see something. Five and six are our two, I think, misfiring cylinders. Let's see if I can pull this up. Let's see what we got here. I heard some arcing from this. There you go. Uh, There's our arcing right there. How cool is that? That's what we're hearing. You saw the waviness or hash in this number five too. You can see it now that it's arcing continuously. Yeah, that's a bad plug wire all day long. The number six, I'm saying plug for number six. Uh, the only thing left is if you guys trust me in that waveform analysis that this needs a spark plug. It definitely needs a spark plug wire. Um, I'm wavering in my mind on what I want to do here. This is just classic bad plug, bad wire. That was pretty cool that we could see the arcing um, affected by like the waveform and the sound. That was really awesome. I really like that. Usually you don't, when you see a plug issue like this, you usually don't see anything other than a super, super wide plug gap. That might be about the worst I've seen. That's gotta be like a hundred thousands, huge. But you typically don't see anything on the plug themselves. A couple of black dots, but that's nothing. I was looking for like a crack in the porcelain. Okay, let's switch that with a different cylinder. It would have helped for me to look at the other cylinder I'm switching it with, but I didn't, I should have. I should have scoped this other one. This would be number two that I'm gonna pull from. Sweet ass pliers right there. This is only for you guys. If I'm in the field right now, or if I'm doing other cars and I'm not filming, I have enough data to put plugs and wires in this car. I thought coming into this, being the coil packs were replaced, 
and it still had a misfire that we were going to end up seeing bad computer drivers nope not the case i wouldn't have put coils on this without doing the plugs and wires i mean nothing to look at other than a really wide plug gap i mean this one's a little bit more dark right we're gonna put this in the number six it's possible what we were looking at was a wire issue too, but I think that looked like a plug to me. The number five also looked like a bad plug, but it was a faulty wire. Sometimes it's difficult to differentiate between a plug and a wire issue. Okay, fire in the hole. What am I connected to? That's my, that's my number five. It's not arcing anymore because I moved it. Let's move this to the number six. Yeah, it looks good. And then I moved that to number two. So number two is on this coil. That's where we're gonna see our shitty pattern again. Move this over. That's number five arcing again looks good since I moved it unless I'm on the wrong cylinder oh I'm on the wrong side that's now cylinder one yeah I moved it from oh I I moved it to its companion cylinder that was dumb I didn't want to move it to the companion because that can interfere that's the plug that used to be in the, there it is right there sweet that's what we want to see bad plug and that number five did exhibit that with the arcing. It had some hash to it. That cylinder one, that plug used to be in cylinder six and it was a constant miss until I touched it. So could that just be a wire issue from me unplugging and plugging back in? Possibly. But that moved to one. There's cylinder six again. Yeah, that was a bad plug. Number six was a bad plug. Just by me messing with it. I actually corrected this issue, moving this back to where I put the plug, cylinder one. Okay. And we'll look at our major hash here on occasion. Not a constant miss like it was. There it is. I just heard the miss too when that came back. I'll let you guys listen. One last thing, number six. You hear how we've corrected the misfire? You can hear it. I don't think anybody else can hear it, but that constant miss is now gone. Going after the number six. Keeping this closer than my finger. Listen. Hear the RPM change, we're hitting now. Wanna put the test light in there, it shorts it? Yeah. Just me moving it was enough to uh, make it start firing. Plugs and wires, 100%, Pete. Any other faults we need to worry about in here? I don't think so. We just had an OBD2 system checks incomplete. Just a warning to you guys, you get a car in like this and you don't know anything about it, you never promise a customer like this that somebody's hands have been in here and cleared the codes. You don't know what other faults are here. Just protect yourself. OBD checks incomplete means someone cleared the codes and all the monitors haven't run. So you could have other issues that are unknown. When you sell this job, you're selling the customer, the tests involved to track down the misfire and the fix of the misfire only. Very important last piece. But I hope you guys learned something from that. We have more videos available. You guys interested in training? Scannerdander.com, we have over 600 videos and counting all of my lessons that I taught at Rosedale Technical College over the years, over the 18 years of teaching are available on that site as well. It's 13 bucks a month for a tech, $50 a month for a garage, up to 10 techs covered. If you're interested, email my wife Kristen at support at scannerdander.com and mention the shop package. You can get your name on our shop list too. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. So I don't know if you guys caught it, super upsetting moment for us in this video. We finished and we lost all the data because we forgot to hit record on the laptop. 
and unfortunately while we were going through it we tried to recreate it and plug in the screens on what we were seeing i bet you caleb masked it in a way that you guys didn't even see if you did see it we did the best we could the misfire from the number six that was constant when we started ended up being intermittent when i moved the plug to the uh, cylinder one and so that part was a little bit difficult uh, we were able to recreate the number five and the sound, the arcing and all of that. That was cool. And the rest of the footage, we're using original footage here and plugging in screen recording. So let's see how good of a job Caleb did. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.